Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail with our specialist in gun straps and psyche. Yes, I have to re record this as well because who wonders? Um, the microphone wasn't working. So, my bad old microphone. But now we're on the move again and we're trying to storm the buildings because while all the pirates in the open are dead, the ones in the buildings are not. So, let's have a little bit of scouting. Ooh, I like lockpicking because it's full of experience. It's an excellent way to get experience. Um, batteries, okay. Nothing here, okay. I think we should go into stealth before we open that door. I didn't use uh, stealth as much as I should, but it's really handy. I mean, stealth is good. And our stealth skill is pretty high. It could be increased a little bit by items and stuff, but it is already pretty high. We're placing a trap here because any reinforcements that will come to his aid will come through this door most likely. So in order to stop the mode cold, we place that here. This guy has 500 something hit points, so Gonzo Jet Slick. 580. Oh boy, that's a lot. Can we do it? In one go? We'll do a critical. No, it's 322. That is not nearly enough. And we cannot fire him because we're in the wrong angle. Which means that his reinforcements will come and he will come. And as he's not firing on us, we have to assume that he is a close combat specialist. So we'll make a trap for him. And we'll stop his reinforcements from coming through the door. Or the force field. Hopefully. So what that means in theory is that this guy will... Oh, he's trying to yell at us to intimidate us. But that didn't work. Yeah, now we're point blank and he's dead. Oh boy. That is a guy, I think with a shotgun or something. We place a trap to be on the safe side. Whoa, he takes it like professional. We're not hitting as much as we should. Is he coming? No, oh, he's coming! Shoot him! Shoot him, Dad! Oh, we're missing a lot. He resists 59 mechanical damage. That is astonishing. Oh, and he cannot be stunned. Great. Looting time! Yeah, it is looting time, but not for you. For me. And we miss. How bad is that? Will he walk into the trap and die? No, he didn't. Because he's hard. Twenty-two life points. That should be enough. No matter how tough, not tough enough. So, deactivate the shield. Get the trap. Everything will be alright. Now let's start looting the place. Batteries. These are very good batteries. They are vehicle batteries 600. The only problem that I didn't recognize now is the fact that my jet ski is so bad that it cannot use that. Which is a shame. Barrels, a lot of scrap. I can make my own repair kits, by the way. I, I, I rarely do that, but I can do that, and I always forget about that. 
which is a shame. Oh, more crafting materials for armors that we don't use or don't make. Look at that well-made engine and a special engine XG Beta 3.5 power rating 350. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Now we're so slow because we're so terribly overloaded. But that's how it is. Well, as you can see, there are two of them, and the pirate one is obviously worse than the one I'm using. So, let's see. Of course, our uh, battery will not be uh, fitting in here because our vehicle is simply too bad. The scrap chat is a level 2 vehicle and, yeah, max size 2. So, our vehicle is crap. Rubbish. trying to load out over all the stuff. We have a lot of stuff in. I promised my brother, best brother in the world by the way, to not take everything with us. And um, I'm, I'm trying to take not everything with us, but well, you know, there's some things that I want to take with me. Maybe we can forget about taking the hammers in the future with us, because we don't really need the hammer. At least that's what I think. collect all the stuff, hope that we find something more useful along the way. Although it doesn't look that way. Okay. Get more stuff. So much stuff, unbelievable. I was thinking about changing to shotguns, but I really like my my um, assault rifle. I think it's the superior weapon in the end. Because while there are some situations where a shotgun might be more useful when it comes to really confined spaces, um, I like my, my feet all work with this assault rifle. I'm building a shotgun guy, as you all know, and I'm working on it. Um, but will they be as efficient as this ones? I'm not sure. I mean, if the enemy is really, really close, it might be. It might absolutely be, but as it currently stands, I don't think so. Re-ammunition everything, because very important. Oh boy, now we crawled through the um, pipe, but we cannot get back, so that is a danger zone.
I think that's the upper level of the barracks. So. Oh yeah, pirate sprayer. So that is someone with a submachine gun. Question is, what is the other one? And not dead. It's a looter. Pistol, I guess. Both dead, beautiful. But will that be all of them? I'm not sure. We better place a trap and if someone is still there, we'll know in a second. Oh yes, the only it's a hammer guy. I hate hammer guys. Doom banger. Well the well that was his doom. Not as tough as you think. Lucky me. Woohoo! Yeah, we found the key on the way. I think it was with the with the guy um, in his separate group, Gonzo, whatever his name was. I think this was his key. You can jump or climb down there. I think you will end in the water. I don't think that is a very good idea. Besides, you will be appearing right in front of the enemy, which is a terrible idea. Now, where do we go from here? Okay, let's go back. Yeah, we can see down there, so we will end in the water if we jump down there. That is not a good idea, because for some reason this character cannot swim. Which is hilarious when you come to think of it. Loot everything. Don't let anything go to waste. Shotguns, more lock picking. Even more lock picking. Uh, hammers. Yeah, I promised to drop the hammers. I will. I will. Don't panic. We'll not carry that thing back to the ship. Because totally not worth our time. Guaranteed. Okay, special shotgun shells. Didn't get the colors, by the way. The colors indicate for what they're good for, armor, pierce ring, um, anti-personal and stuff. Um, but I am, I'm not entirely sure if I get all that right by this point. And you can bet your ass off that there will be more of those dudes. Oh, we'll be so in trouble when we go down there. We must get rid of that hammer stuff. Far too heavy, if you ask me. Okay, we're not overloaded, but we're also not really uh, lightly loaded. So let's see what we can do. Oh boy, there is a couple of them. But we're stealthed, so no problem here. Let's place traps. Let's place a lot of traps. Because traps is what keeps us kicking. That's my that's my style of fighting. I really love traps, if you haven't noticed until now. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure you did. Okay.
more traps and more traps and even more traps because traps are good. So theoretically, we start some noise and then all of them will come out of their um, rest area, eating area, and then we shoot them all to bits. That's the plan. If it works, nobody knows. But we'll see in a second. Hmm. Question is, are we well prepared? We power all our shields, we do all our stuff. Should be no problem. Okay, there is one guy in there, that's the cook. He doesn't look like a fighter to me. So this should be no problemo. Can we do this? Well, I'm pretty sure we can. He's dead. Reinforcements are coming and we're killing them. Question is how many? Oh boy. Crossbow guns very bad, very bad, and he's dead. So far, no problem. The only problem is that they. Whoa! This guy outmaneuvered me. No idea how he did that. And we're out of ammunition, so we cannot shoot him. Unless, of course, we use adrenaline. So where is the rest of them? Oh boy! Uh, by the looks of it, a sword rifle. Yeah, now I've out outmaneuvered myself because I cannot get into any position to shoot him. And I'm not sure he is in a trap. Although I hope he, I hope he is. Because otherwise this would be really bad for us. Oh boy. Shoot him! No, we can't. Perhaps we can stun him? He's not coming around. Our adrenaline will stop working any second. And then we're in big trouble. Because the moment that thing runs cold, we're in trouble. Yes, he's dead. Beautiful. Was that all of them? It was. Okay, deactivate shields and start getting our traps off. Good idea. Very good idea. I have a tendency to walk into my own traps. That's really a problem. And disarming and getting back all the traps is very time consuming. However, uh, leaving the traps there is no option because for one, we wouldn't get any loot. And second, um, yeah, we need them on other places. 
Traps can do wonders. I won so many fights, as you all know, just by using traps, delaying the enemy. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. That stuff is really, really, really great. I was thinking about learning chemistry to... Um, get some chemistry to make traps that are poisonous stun poison preferably because that is the the whole idea of the trap anyway um but then again that takes a lot of points and we need the points on other places so yeah not not really working out See what they have to offer. Nothing useful as it seems. Keys. I like keys. Oh, barrels. Never forget about the barrels. Could be useful stuff in there. Yay! A broken prosthetic leg. Is that from pirates or what? What do you even use that for? Nothing else here. Okay. We'll look into all the stuff later when we're back to the boat. Replenish ammunition, of course. Because that's what we really need. And repairs. Our weapons are deteriorating terrifyingly fast. We should try to transfer all the stuff that is useful that we can sell to our main boat and leave all the stuff that we're not exactly taking with us um, here. The engines are so heavy, it's unbelievable. The armor is good and will fetch a good price. However, one thing you should always consider, which I'm not doing sadly, because I'm too greedy, is consider the weight in relation to what it will give you in coin. And you will notice relatively fast that there are a lot of items that are not worth taking. Not even close. Could think about making Molotovs, but uh, I think we don't have the skill for that, sadly. Which is a shame. Which is an absolute shame. Yeah, you need uh, tailoring for that. We have chemistry. Ha, huh, I have chemistry for the traps. I'm missing tailoring. Sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm always doing that mistake and hopping on the boat where we should actually be leaving the boat or just putting stuff into the boat because we're horrifyingly overloaded with all the weapons. Finding good weapons is hard work. A lot of people are good at shooting at you. Not so many people have the weapons that are actually worth taking with them. But we're doing the best we can. Sorting out what we don't need. Putting only the important stuff in the boat. But you can see that it's already over overrated. It can load 85 to um, units. And we've put into it 156. So... Not that good at all. A lot of crafting materials. 
I do not do a lot of crafting, although I should. I mean, I invested points in it. Why not use it? Um, then again, you don't have the. I don't have it as a main skill, so I don't have a lot of points in it. And if you don't have a lot of points in it, um, it's not working that well because you can only make items that have no real um, skill um, effect. So, for example, if you're making guns, that's only really uh, a good thing if you have the skill for it. Otherwise, you'll just lose materials because what you produce will not be as good as what you can buy. Um, I was thinking about putting points all in one skill and then to make something really useful for me because if I make a gun with the a mechanic skill of 50, the gun will be terrible. Although if I put all the points from chemistry and um, other stuff into mechanic, I might have a hundred. But even then, the weapon will be mainly useless. So now we're not doing that. And another problem with with the crafting is that no matter. Uh, <laughs> Um, when you're finding items, you're finding items according to your level. So when I find uh, metal, for example, I will find metal of a quality of 80 or 90 or whatever. I don't have the skill to build anything out of that. I simply don't. So that's no use. That's not really helping me. So the crafting was originally intended to build ammunition, but I cannot build ammunition because all the stuff I find is um, too high to craft. I cannot even make ammunition, as it seems. Question is, is there anything else we can make? We're putting stuff back and forth, putting all the stuff that we can sell, at least in theory, at a shop to a good price. No idea if it will be a good price, though. More likely than not, it will not be a good price. We still have the um, shotgun loaded here. Let's put all the stuff we don't want to take with us. Our armor is good. It is not as effective as, for example, the stuff that we get very, very early from the ex uh, from the assassin with this damage reduction 63 uh, against bullets. But it is very light and it helps with the stealth. And as we're now, the stealth is helping us more than the damage reduction. Stealth is a really good thing. I'm thinking of redoing the Praetorian, the spear guy that I'm creating, because I gave him a lot of um, perception, uh, thinking that perception will help with throwing, but it does not. Perception has nothing to do with throwing. Throwing weapons are built on dexterity. So the character was a mis misguided product of a sort. Yeah, I know. I'm going. I'm going back for the for the hammers. No, no, we're going to the um. We're going for the underground installation. Because that's where we go next time. Deep down. And explore the caves. At least that's the idea.